they're afraid of you or you're the bad guys or whatever you want to say. You don't seem to be the bad guys, but you have to play a hard line on this, I take it, right? Uh, uh, well, I think we do. First of all, the law is very specific about the timelines that it gives us. I think that, uh, you know, when uh, the, the situation that, that obviously prompted all this has brought public safety to the forefront of this conversation. I think that our job and our responsibility, first of all, is that uh, the legislature has allowed for private animal ownership after 2014 if the following, if these com if these conditions are met. I think that it is in, uh, I think it's in our responsibility to take a look at what those care and caging standards should be, care not only for the animal, but for the general public as well to make sure that uh, that we set forward standards that creates a safe environment for dangerous wild animal ownership. I think that the expertise that we have here on the board are people that deal with these animals every day, understand them, and I think that they will be uh, the, the standards that we put forward will not only be in the best interest of the citizens of the state of Ohio, but the animals as well. What's the capacity of this facility that you're planning? I mean. That might be an indication of how many you think you may end up having to. Take care of. Uh, what we what we have right now is uh, under under at least consideration is a facility that will handle anywhere from 30 to 40 animals. Uh, should we end up with those, um, 